Wait, hello there. We need to have a talk. I, I know this isn't usually the type of video that I make, and I have a lot of series going on, but we need to have a talk. I'm sure some of you might have seen this video floating around on the internet. For some context here, and ignore the dried blood on my lip, I had to get in a fight with some ninjas, but for context, this was a pyrotechnical festival in Mexico, and there were hundreds of people there, and an aircraft flew by, and everyone decided that it would be a joyous idea to shine all of their lasers at this aircraft. Which is so... In, in case you need a little bit of a reminder, um, not only is it a crime to do so, it is also extremely dangerous, and, you know, it's not okay. I don't know why everyone thought that this would be okay, I guess, group behavior, but just, just, I, I don't understand. Like, it is incredibly dangerous to shine lasers into the cockpit of aircrafts. It is just so baffling that everyone did this. Um, for those of you who don't know, if you're in a cockpit and you get a laser shined into your eyeballs, you can't see crap. You can't see anything. And being able to see is a fundamental part in flying a plane. Because if you can't see anything, then you might end up below the ocean, or as my recent ASMR video, you might end up crashing your entire plane. It's just an incredibly dangerous thing. And for some reason, this is just on the rise, for some reason. On the FAA's website, uh, in 2023, there were reported of 13,304 incidents that were reported by pilots who had lasers shined at their aircraft, which is baffling. 13,000 incidents is a lot. I mean, it was less, and like for comparison, like 2017 only had 6,000, 2022 had 9,000. So it's just, I, I just don't understand, like why we have to tell people to not be a-holes and shine lasers into the cockpit of pilots when they have potentially hundreds of passengers on planes that could result in a devastating crash and multiple fatalities. Now, as far as I can tell, there hasn't been a fatal accident regarding aircrafts, but that doesn't mean there can't be a fatal accident regarding aircrafts or that there won't be a fatal accident regarding aircrafts. And I don't know what it is about planes, but just for some reason, planes just bring out the absolute worst in people. Like, people either having mental breakdowns because they're not taking their medication, or people just spewing diarrhea all over the place, or people just drinking way too much on planes and causing emergency diversions, or just people being general jerks. Like, I, just, I have no clue what it is about planes. I just decide to bring out the absolute worst in people. I don't understand it. <laughs> It's, it's like this SCP where, like, you, you step on a plane and then suddenly you become the worst person that there ever was. I don't understand it. <laughs> now, for those of you who are going to make arguments for some reason, saying that, one, this plane should have diverted somewhere else because there was a festival going on. That's a completely ridiculous thing to say. What should have happened in this situation is that people looked up to the sky, they saw a plane, and they were like, Oh, that's cool. And then they immediately go back to what they were doing. A plane shouldn't have to divert because they shouldn't have to prepare to be shined in the face by hundreds of lasers from people who don't understand anything about aviation. It's so ridiculous. People might also argue that pilots should just do nothing during the shining of the laser and they'll be fine. Which is also an incredibly dumb argument because, like, especially if you're on approach, you can't just do anything or you can't just stop doing anything, especially if you're on approach. 
because then you could possibly just, you know, slam face into the ground and have a little bit of an oopsie accident. It's just... Pilots shouldn't have to prepare to be shined in the face by lasers. It's not something that they should have to be prepared for. It's not something that they are trained for because it's not expected of the common people to be complete jerks. And it's just completely ridiculous. <laughs> it's... I, I don't understand. Like... And like I said, maybe group behavior is like a, a part of this incident where like one person shined the light and like, you know, others felt obligated to do the same. I, I imagine that's maybe a part of this as well. But um, yeah, this could have been like an absolutely just disastrous accident if the pilots didn't have stable control of the plane or if they panicked and, and something happened or something like that. It's... um. It's just, I don't understand why people are just the absolute worst when it comes to aircrafts. And we really shouldn't have to tell people to not be jerks and to use sort of a little bit of common sense and be like, hey, maybe shining this laser on this aircraft and is, isn't exactly the best idea, but okay. <laughs> it's just... I don't know. I just wanted to talk about it as someone who is kind of getting into aviation, just as a, like a little bit of an interest. I'm obviously not a pilot, so, um, but there are videos that you can find online of like what it looks like to be shined at by a laser in a cockpit. And I can't imagine what the pilots were seeing in this incident. It must have been like playing Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion with every specimen chasing you. Just an absolute seizure show. And. As far as I can tell, like nothing, like no accident came of this, but obviously that doesn't mean that there can't be an accident that comes off of this, or that there won't be an accident that comes off of this. Um, so yeah, just just stop shining lights in, in people's eyes. I think that's a pretty common sense thing to, to think, and I um, just wanted to talk about this in case people didn't realize how potentially dangerous this is. Just, just don't be a jerk, that's all. Take care.